Today we're back with a brand new WWE Elite action figure set review on the WWE Elite WrestleMania 40 Nicholas Build-A-Figure set. Now I'll be real with you, I feel like this set immediately took a lot of heat when we saw it at San Diego Comic-Con. You know, we got to see, you know, the figures right there in the case, and they're already here. It's kind of wild, like, I feel like this year, this past, the, the entire 2023 just flew by. Like, the Royal Rumble is not, I guess it's not, like, tomorrow, but it is coming up. It's not too, too far away. And I feel like I just attended the Royal Rumble. And then it goes to Mania, and then you're at Comic-Con, and it just flies by, man. Life is a crazy roller coaster, by God. But nonetheless, man, we do have a full set here. We have John Cena, The Rock, Trish Stratus, and a first time in the line, the Elite line, mind you, Pat McAfee, man. So, my world of college football and wrestling and action figures collides with Pat McAfee, who also is now colliding in the action figures in the college football in the WWE. So it's kind of crazy here in the review, man. But if you guys would like to grab this set, you can do so over at ringsidecollectibles.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% as well as get in on their Cyber Monday sale. But yes, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% at ringsidecollectibles.com. But again, I feel like this wave took a lot of heat, especially when it's first shown off, man. But I gotta be real with you, man. This packaging is epic. I mean, look at this John Cena figure men on card. Like the green and white of Philly and the Eagles and everything taking over. I love the logo of WrestleMania this year. Very interesting development here as we have John Cena. We also have The Rock right here, which this might low-key be my favorite figure from the set. Of course, at the end we're going to rank all of them. We're going to rank the full set. We're going to rank the Nicholas Build-A-Figure, which is crazy. It's back in the day when that, you know, that booking decision happened. Wasn't too happy with it. Thought it was very odd, but there we go. I don't know. This down here reminds me of like Family Feud or something. I don't know. But there is The Rock. We got Rock and John Cena. We have Trish Stratus, which is pretty much her Hall of Fame figure, which we're going to dive into, of course. But there's damn flies in here, and I'm about to freaking fly out the damn window if I see another one. But Trish is looking all right. You know, you got a good stuff going. Dude, this packaging is sweet. There's a shot of Trish there. I mean, dude, this is pretty sweet. And then, of course, we do have another kid Build-A-Figure. I mean, that's crazy. We have our second child Build-A-Figure. Speaking of which, I got to go grab Dom. But here is Pat McAfee. I do have his basic that we're going to compare it to. But this is awesome. Awesome, man. I, I don't know. I'm kind of low-key feeling it. We won't know until we, of course, crack all these guys out of their packaging, find out what they're all about, comparisons, do all the different things, dive into the different details, man. But with that being said, let's shut the hell up, dive into the WrestleMania Elite 40. Not the Elite 40, you dumb jackass. Dive into the WrestleMania 40 Elite Nicholas Build-A-Figure set. All right, man, so here's our WrestleMania 40 Elite Wave out of the packaging, man. And taking these around and kind of taking them for a spin around the block. I gotta be real, man. These are ass. I'm just kidding. I, I have posed them around, but they're not ass. I just wanted to say that for no reason. I apologize. If it got one cheap pop, I'll take it. But for real, though, I think it's pretty interesting. I love that we have this smaller build of figure. I think they're pretty interesting. You know, you take what you will. I know a lot of people say, you know, like, it's not like Marvel Legends, right? You know, like, you'll have a bigger character. Like, that doesn't exist here. I mean, you'd run out of characters really fast if every wave was Giant, Gonzalez, or Andre the Giant, and, you know, like, different things like that, which would be awesome, I'm just saying. And I do like where we're going in the future with build of figures like the Lex Luthor. We're going to be getting like the British Bulldog. We just got like the Virgil. I do like that a lot. I do like that. We're getting away from suited bodies. I like the differences there. But having Nicholas, I think it's cool. I think it's a real cool thing. And of course, we are getting his father, John Cone, down the line in the SummerSlam wave. So I'm all for this. I don't have any, you know, quarrels about it here. But, you know, taking a look at the wave, we do have some nice updates and things of that nature. Where would this rank at the end? You know, I don't I don't know. We'll have to see about what we're going to do is take every figure from left to right and just cover them. And then we're going to rank this set. We're going to tell you everything you get. We're going to build the Nicholas. And we're we're going to rank everything, and it should be a nice, you know, wrap it all up in one sweet bow. But let's shut the hell up and dive into the goat over here. All right, man, so diving into this John Cena figure right here, it's actually quite interesting because the last time we saw this look of John Cena, like, it's kind of like an upgrade. Like, this, low-key, this is kind of a greatest hits figure because it's an upgrade of a previously released John Cena. This, and actually, when that figure was released, it was also a part of a Build-A-Figure wave. It was the Build-A-Figure John Laurinaitis Best of Pay-Per-View Elite John Cena that came with this shirt, the same outfit and everything like that. How However, there are some differences. These colors on the shorts is kind of like from the original Elite 20 shorts, which I, I honestly don't like. It's not as realistic. The original Best of Pay-Per-View Elite had like lighter jorts, which we're going to take a look at in the comparison of this figure and that figure. And I like it a lot more, but they did go with the more saturated like cartoony look here. But on this figure, uh, they did use the, you know, the basic 100 or the, you know, the Ultimate Edition head sculpt here, which is a great likeness. I really do like it. I mean, I'm going to be real. I want to see new Cena head sculpts. However, this is a 
damn good head sculpt. I don't really have any quarrels about it. And also, this is the Ultimate Edition John Cena hat mold. This is not the OG hat mold. So this is the Ultimate Edition hat. This is, you know, all that. But it does have all the logos on there, which is nice. But yeah, this is the uh, Ultimate Edition hat mold, not the old school one, which we can compare in just a moment. But yeah, it looks good. Fits the figure well. And you know, and when you put it on the head, you know, when you always put his hat on right there, it always, it's like, this always bothers me in photos because it covers up his face. It's hard to see. But yeah, great looking mug on this guy. Now, he also does come with his dog tag accessory. It seems like every John Cena, especially from this time period, always came with the dog tags, which is nice. He also comes with his green and white Rise Above Hate C Nation shirt, which does have the Velcro on the back. It is not, you know, no Velcro or anything like that. I'd really like to see the breast cancer awareness version of this, but he does have the removable wristbands, which is a nice touch. I always love that, man. Once they introduce that to us, I can never go back to the painted on version, which is what the last one had. And of course, this does have like much better. Like this is an upgraded version of that original Best of Pay-Per-View Elite pretty much, but fits the figure well and all those things. Here's the shorts color that I was talking about. And then going down, he does have, you know, this is actually pinned. They have not, you know, moved on to the pinless here, but it's got the nice skin tone on there. And he does have the white, the black and white sneakers on there, which is accurate. Pretty sure he's wearing J's around this time. But yeah, one thing that they did interesting about this figure. Now I'm going to go ahead and dive into this. This is very interesting. They did uh, kind of a weird thing here, which I don't know why they did this. And it's very interesting. Maybe I don't even know if they know why, but this is like the old school John Cena torso on the newer mold. So this is the Elite 3 the Elite 7, the Elite 11, you know, those different John Cena torsos. This is like the bigger Jack torso. They gave him this torso, but on this more modern lower. And I say more modern, like we haven't had this for years now, but it is the more modern of the John Cena figures here because he only has like two different molds that they use. It's either the longer shorts or the shorter shorts. And with uh, this, they've never done this combo before. So it's weird because we've seen the newer torso with double jointed arms on the shorts mold. So it's kind of a weird thing where they mix the hybrid here. And I don't hate it. I really don't hate it. I think it works okay. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing. I don't know if you're going to get that level of detail in this review. I feel like I've been rambling, but I hope you guys enjoy it anyway. And then for interchangeable hands, you get mic holding hands, and then you get the you can't see me hands. I'm going to make a request right now. For the you can't see me hands, instead of this flatness, like wavy, like weird kind of hand like this, like the diamond, like, you know, like DDP style hand, they need to do the Kerry Von Eric like claw hand, like where he's like, you know, not like flat palm, like kind of have like a, you know what I'm saying? Because he doesn't do it like this. You don't do it like this. This looks weird. He kind of has like a, you know what I'm saying? He needs to do it like that. More of like a, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a claw. Or like a, you know what I'm saying? You get what I mean. So here's the comparison that I'm talking about, guys. So you guys can see the shorts color that I'm talking about. This is a lot more realistic, but there's obvious differences. The hat's different. Head sculpt's different. He has double jointed pinless arms. The shirt looks better. The graphics and everything. I'd almost say that this color is more accurate, too. I feel like this one was a little bit more flat, like Kelly Green. I feel like this one's pretty accurate. Well, I guess they're both kind of Kelly-ish green, but the graphics more crisp over here. Like this is this is definitely better, but this is still a nice trip down memory lane. But I do like the shorts over here on this Cena much better in my opinion. But yeah, they're essentially the same figure, but still pretty cool to see this, you know, uh, kind of replicated. And I hope we get to other Cenas, but I want to see some Cena gears that Mattel hasn't tackled before. But look at the armbands, man. I mean, this is crazy. Just a much better upgrade to me. Now next up, we do have the Rock figure, man. It's probably the figure that I was most excited for outside of Pat McAfee, just because I really like this head sculpt. I think it's a damn good modern rock head sculpt. Now, I do think my eyes are painted weird here, or they're like misprinted or something like that, but the likeness is damn good, man. Like, look at that right there. That might be the best modern rock you could, like, money can buy right now. You put that on the ultimate, or you, you know, you could play around with different stuff. I low-key think this might be, like, the best modern rock figure they've ever done, and you know, you can play around with formulas. Like, he doesn't have the updated tattoo. I'm sure that we'll get that at some point on a bigger body, but I've said this in my ranking video of all the Elite Series from 1 through 100. They always struggle with the rock, like, flipping between between this torso and the lower torso, they need to use this for any modern rock. Any rock 2010 up, don't use any other torso but this torso. Now, if it's anything before he left and then previous, like from his debut to his leaving the first time or like to Hollywood Rock, use that same torso they've been using, man. Don't use this one. It just doesn't work for me, but this is damn good. I like the tattoo in here. I like the Brahma Bull and the formula here is nice. Now, this is not the right gear. This is not accurate having the Brahma Bull on there and they didn't fix it. So you get the Brahma Bull on both sides, which isn't accurate, but I mean, I don't know. It's obviously, you want it to be accurate. I want it to be the right gear, but it's definitely worth mentioning there that like, that's definitely a thing. And you know, if you're a Rock fan, that's going to bum you out for sure. But you can probably paint over it and get a decal or something, which you shouldn't have to do, but it is certain, certainly out there. But he's got the standard knee pads and the standard Rock boots, which are good. But yeah, man, I, I like this figure a lot. Like, damn, pretty good Rock football figure. Now for his accessories, you do get mic holding hands and you get interchangeable fists, of course. And then you get the 2013 WWE Champion.
championship with the Brahma Bulls side plates, which is kind of crazy at the time of recording this, is CM Punk is back. So that's kind of crazy how that all comes full circle. So we'll be getting CM Punk figures and stuff probably from around this time frame, maybe. I don't know, but pretty cool to get this championship. You know, always nice to, to add another one of these to the collection. I think this is one of the more underrated versions of the championship, man. But yeah, there is those accessories. Now for your rock figure comparison, we do have the new WrestleMania 40 Elite Rock right here, which I really do like, versus the Ultimate Edition, which also came in Series 10 of the Ultimate Edition next to John Cena, which is cool. But yeah, I mean, this is, uh, I, I don't know, man. The, the Elite just looks better, in my opinion. And I don't like this head sculpt. We've seen this head sculpt like 652 times, so finally getting an update here is cool. And I, I wouldn't be shocked if we got another Ultimate Edition Rock, but I'm pretty sure this is the gear he's supposed to have. Am I tripping? I may be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure this is the exact gear that is supposed to be on this figure. But I don't know. Look at the back graphics are a little different. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but yeah, I mean, they're essentially this is an Ultimate Edition version of this figure. It's just it's just not as good. I like the Elite better, to be honest. Next up, man, we do have the Trish figure. Probably the one that people are probably most the, the most bummed about, just because there's zero updates here. I mean, I, I say zero updates. Like, yeah, it has a little bit of true effects. It's got double-jointed pinless arms and interchangeable hands and double-jointed knees, but it's a very, like, plain Jane figure. It's not the most exciting. Like, all black gear. Like, I don't know. And also, I feel like the hips look a bit weird right here, which we'll get into, but very nice looking head sculpt. I think it looks like Trish. I, I remember back in the day when people were making, like, using this head sculpt for Brandy, which is crazy. And then her battle pack hairpiece, actually, I used for my wife's figure, which looks so damn good. It was crazy. Like, the Miss Elizabeth face sculpt with the Trish Stratus battle pack or championship showdown pack with Lita. If you put that onto that Miss Elizabeth, it looks just like my wife. It's actually scary how much it looks like her. So, like, it's nutty, but uh, baddest motherfucking figure in the game, I can tell you that. But yeah, I mean, this figure just, ah, oh man, look at this, the double jointed arm, like, I don't know, it's, it's tight, you know, and everything like that, it's just, I, I don't know, man, I don't, I feel like this figure is gonna probably shell form pretty heavily, but she does have her black gloves in there, she has her black, uh, you know, black tights in there, double jointed knees, all the good stuff going on, and then, of course, this is something I gripe about all the time, it's the basic boots, it's the Becky Lynch mold, or whatever, I guess it's not technically the Becky Lynch mold, I just, I, I relate it to the Becky Lynch figures, but it does say Stratosphere right here with a logo, which is cool, but yeah, not the most exciting thing overall, just, just, just not the best, but let's get into the comparison. And oh yeah, by the way, she comes with pointing fingerless glove hands, like pointing to the sky and tell people to shut the hell up. And then she also has mic holding hands, so it's not, you know, nothing uh, earth shattering, man. So it's not like you even get like a crazy good accessory to pair with this guy. Alright man, so here we go. You're probably like, that's not the same head sculpt. It's because I did a swap on surgery to make more of a modern Trish. So I took, you know, the old, I think it was like a random basic and put it on the old Hall of Fame Elite. And the old Hall of Fame Elite is so just not good, man. Look at the pin list and like how, like, oh my god, the slapping hand and like, look at that, man. Same exact boot mold, man. Look at that guard. Single jointed knees. I mean, yeah. And I think this one is better scaled, but you guys can see this one's significantly shorter. I think it's because it's scaled more to actual Trish's height and stuff, but I don't know, man. This just is not going to set the world on fire, and that's just the way it is. This is definitely the weakest figure in the set, in my opinion. All right, guys, so getting into everybody's favorite Pat McAfee. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of controversial now. What do you think you let me know down below are you team McAfee are you team not I can see where people could maybe think he's a bit much but I love the guy I think he's great I think he's very charismatic gets me going you know he always like brings hype to the show which I can always appreciate whether it's college game day or commentating or his show or Smackdown or freaking day, I don't care he, he always brings the heat but this is the same head sculpt we did get on his basic figure but it's a good head sculpt I think it looks like him and everything like that I like the hair sculpt I like the color and everything like that kind of looking like Leon Lush a little bit but looking nice looking very nice I like the fade over here it looks good, man. It's a nice looking head sculpt. He's got the bronze necklace in here, which looks good. It's got a shimmer to it. He's got this plain black shirt, which is Velcro, so that's cool. And he's got pretty big arms. You know, they're not this veiny and jack, but this is an action figure, so it's going to be overemphasized. It's going to be over exaggerated a little bit. But uh, taking this off, I do believe it's the Stone Cold Steve Austin torso. And yeah, that's a that's a damn good torso. Now, I will say he looks a lot more jacked with the shirt off. Like, look at those arms. Jesus Christ. But uh, yeah, I like it. It's got a tight waist and everything like that. Now, he does have pinless legs, which I just don't like, man. I don't like it, but he's got the, you know, the black pants on here. There is a rip right here, which is actually sculpted on. Got the skin tone underneath, but these legs are so damn tight. Jesus, I don't like pinless legs, man. Listen to that. 
you gotta heat that thing up, man. You're gonna snap a damn leg off. But he does have, like, black and white kicks on right here. I don't know what event this is from specifically, but I'm pretty sure he had Jordan 11s on at one point, I know. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if that was this night or what. But, uh, yeah, I, I like this figure, man. Pretty pretty damn cool. But I li I'm i liking this figure, man. You got a little something special going on there, young man. Look at him right there. You know, Pat McAfee gonna be sitting front row someday. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and put the shirt back on, and then we'll get into some figure comparisons. So for your figure comparisons, you guys can see the basic is taller. Basic's taller, it's leaner, it's got a rubber shirt on there, which I don't like, but it does have a gold necklace. I don't know, man. I, I definitely like the Elite better, because it's an Elite, but god dang, he grew an inch, and he's way skinnier. It's very weird. And also, the, the coloration on the beard over here is less orangey. It's it's more accurate. I'd argue this head sculpt's better. May do a head swap right there. I don't know. May have to do that, but yeah, I mean, this is decent. Nothing, again, nothing gonna shatter the earth here, but uh, I like the Pat McAfee. I do say, though, they gave this guy Cena shoes. I wonder if these are basic version. I'm pretty sure they are, but they do have... I think I want to put the trainer shoes on this guy. So this guy has like the regular boot feet mold. I'm going to put Cena shoes on him. I think that would also add to the figure. I don't know. We're going to experiment with this. All right, man. It is time to build our Nicholas figure, which should be pretty fun. Now, breaking it down, John Cena comes with the arms. The Rock comes with the Nicholas head sculpt and the Raw Tag Team Championship that he did win with Braun Strowman. Trish Stratus comes with the leg of the Nicholas figure. And then Pat McAfee comes with the WrestleMania 34 shirt and the torso. And it's kind of sickening because it feels like WrestleMania 34 was yesterday. And we're coming up on WrestleMania 40. And that makes me want to vomit into the floor. Nonetheless, let's build this guy and we're going to start off with our legs here and then it should be as easy as just popping this together right here like that and we'll take our one arm slide this in right there and then plopping this i mean one thing that i thought about is wouldn't it have been easier to just uh make the shirt like make a i guess they didn't want to make a new sculpt i mean that's the whole bottom line brad don't think too much into it but uh here's the nicholas head sculpt Oh, Jesus. Gotta pop this on here. We gotta do our shirt on there. You know what? I think this fits the figure very nice. They did a great job on this long sleeve, man. But there's the Raw Tag Title. You know, throw that over there. And then, boom. Look at that. Raw Tag Team Champion Nicholas action figure. Crazy as hell, man. But this figure is pinless. Not the arms, I don't think. But the legs are pinless. And that is another very tight knee right there. But he's got his black and white jogging pants on. This is a new shoe mold, I'm pretty sure, as well. Brand new shoe mold. Brand new head sculpt. Head sculpt might be a little bit big. And, like, I don't know the proportions. I think... Uh, was he 12 years old then, I think, is what he was? I mean, I think he could... I don't know. I don't freaking know, man. But let's let's get into some figure comparisons here so you guys can see what he looks like compared to the Dominic figure. And this is pretty good because uh, they're not the same age here. So this is good because I'm pretty sure Dominic was 10 at the time of this and Nicholas was 12 at the time of this. So I think these scale pretty damn good together, man. That's crazy. Now, they were years and years apart, obviously. This is like 05. This is like, what, 2018, 17, something like that. So... Very very wild, man. Very wild times we live in. And then, of course, we are getting John Cone, the Build-A-Figure ref. And again, these these legs had pins in them, and you guys can see these don't. So this is a brand new leg mold. They're not as baggy. These are jogging pants, brand new shoes. Like, there are some new sculpts going on right here with this new Nicholas figure. So it's not just the same exact Dominic, you know, just rehashed and trying to get usage out of the mold. Um, Like, I think they just use the same arms and torso is pretty much it. So they are, uh, you know, there's a lot of new stuff going on right here. Right here. But uh, he can pose pretty fun, you know. He can you know, kick around, do some different stuff. He's got a, a great, like, look at that. He can do the splits. He can, you know, just freaking, he can V-trigger somebody. I mean, he could super kick people. Like, look at that right there. He could super kick somebody. I mean, this is hilarious. You think I'm not gonna make a figure of my son once he gets old enough? You're out of your mind, man. That would be crazy. Can you imagine? Anyway, there is one more comparison we gotta do, and that is Bronathan Strowman here. So we got Braun Strowman up next to Nicholas right there, which is very crazy, man. I can't even believe we have this figure. So yeah, man, take a old Braun Strowman pair together, get the Raw Tag Team Champions from that event. Again, man, during that event, I was not a fan of it, but looking back on it now and like getting a figure of it, and, you know, everything like that, it's just crazy stuff, man. But yeah, that is your Nicholas build a figure. However, man, it is time to rank this set from worst to best. We're gonna rank this set before we get the hell out of here, and I'm excited. So let's go ahead and do so. Now, again, just because a figure comes in at the bottom doesn't mean that it doesn't have any good qualities whatsoever. And just because a figure comes in at number one doesn't mean that it's the best figure ever and it's just, you know, perfection and they couldn't have improved it in any way possible. So... With those things being said, man, starting out at the bottom, we do have the Trish figure, man. You know, it's it, not enough meat on the bone, to be honest with you. Same basic boots. It's like practically a re-release. 
A lot of figures in here are pretty much re-releases, which is why I think this wave caught a lot of heat. But yeah, the Trish figure is definitely the one that I was least excited for. Wasn't really looking forward to it that much. Yeah, just, I don't know, man. Just not my favorite. Up next, we do have the Pat McAfee figure. And I love Pat McAfee, but the legs are so damn tight. I wish they would have given him sneakers. The arms, I don't know. They're kind of bugging me out. Like his shoulders and arms are bugging me out a little bit. I wish they were a little bit less jacked. But I still like the figure and everything like that. I just don't think it was as good as the other figures in this set. Next up, we do have the Nicholas build -A figure I feel like the head uh, is a little bit out of scale. I feel like it could be sized down a little bit there. Like you guys can see. Like, it looks like he has a big-ass head, man. And I have a big-ass head, too. Like, his head's literally bigger than Pat McAfee's, so that just kind of tells you something there. But it's not bad. I, I like the figure a lot. It's very poseable and stuff like that. But getting into two-in-one, man, number two is going to be the John Cena figure. I love John Cena, and I think all the upgrades here are very nice, but... It didn't beat the number one figure for me, which is going to be the Rock figure. I just love this head sculpt. I think it's a perfect modern Rock, and the formula from top to bottom is great. Even though the the gear is inaccurate, I think it's the best modern Rock action figure you can buy, and I feel like that should count for something, man. But again, if you guys did want to grab this wave, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%. They're also doing their Cyber Monday deal over there, so you can use the code to add an additional 10%. Do not use free saver shipping. That shish is going to take forever to ship, man. Use probably priority shipping and then use code MD toys and then if you're ordering like a really big order you can end up getting priority shipping for free pretty much so it'll be fast shipping and it'll pretty much be free shipping if you do a big enough order which is what I always like to do so you'll get it fast you get a nice deal for Cyber Monday you use the code it you help support the channel all of the above it's just a great way to do so so that would be awesome I appreciate it so much for usage of the code always and a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel always appreciate you fellas over there we're actually getting gearing up for our first live stream over there for the month of November that is going to be happening in the next couple days, so that should be fun too, but that's going to wrap up this video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on this wave down in the comment section below if you thought it was boring. Do you think it's going to shelf warm? All of the different things down below I'd love to discuss with you, but I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Name Toys. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>